They say that world-class performance in sport is 90% mental and 10% physical. The assumption, of course, is that everyone has done the physical work leading up to competition since they are, in fact, able to compete at that level. What separates the truly elite athletes is their mental strength and resilience. That being said, even the best athletes in the world are human, as we see through the legend Muhammad al sharbagis example. Here we see Sharbagi win with a nice counter drop at 8-4 in game one. He stretches his lead to five points and then experiences a mental lapse. He goes for a cheap early boast and as you can see, is livid with himself. Let's learn from Sharbagi. Notice how he releases his frustration immediately, then takes a short walk around the back of the court, resets himself and receives the next serve with positive body language. Let's watch these next two rallies together. Despite losing the rally at 5-9, Shrabagi plays with better structure and then wins the next rally at 6-9 with quality structure and a high quality long drop. This is the true mark of an elite performer. The question is not whether we can eliminate all mental lapses. That is unrealistic. What we can all strive to do, however, is limit the frequency and duration of lapses. I encourage you to reflect upon this and recognize that everyone trips up from time to time. The key is to be non-judgmental, treat it as another rep, learn from it, and do your best to avoid repeating a similar mistake in the future. There are, of course, specific techniques one can practice to improve performance and maximize personal potential. If that's of interest to you, please reach out to me at ahad at arperformance.com to discuss your needs. Take care.